Part of the reason I'm excited about and interested in Earth science is because I want us to understand this dynamic planet better. You know, the Earth is really cool, Ben. Um, yeah, I didn't actually test right so, so poorly sorted. My name is Liz Hajek, and I am an assistant professor in geosciences. The Earth's surface on which we live is changing because of climate change. We're going to have to figure out how to deal with that. And these problems are huge. They're really fundamental to how we as a society are going to sustain ourselves on, on this changing planet. I always knew I wanted to tackle what I saw as, as big problems in the world. And what are the ones that I think I could apply organic chemistry towards solving? My name is Scott Phillips, and my title is Martirano Career Development Professor, and I'm an assistant professor. Could you make a microfluidic device, basically a diagnostic device out of a piece of paper? We want to come up with the least expensive but most useful types of diagnostics that we can come up with for detecting biomarkers of disease or markers of pollution. I guess my bigger goal is, is to change point of care diagnostics all the way from remote villages to emergency rooms to home health care and, and so forth. A lot of our work is focusing on pollinator health and specifically honeybee health. About three quarters of our agricultural crops, so our fruits, our vegetables, are all dependent on pollinators. I'm Christina Grosinger and I'm a professor in the Department of Entomology and director for our Center of Pollinator Research. Pollinator populations have been in decline worldwide. Beekeepers are losing 30% of their colonies every winter. Pollinators are really the foundation of our food systems. Without pollinators, there is no sustainability. We are facing tremendous challenges coming down the road here in the next couple decades. But I am optimistic at Penn State. Every day I see evidence of that positive potential that young people have. This early career professorship is really an amazing opportunity and we're so grateful for our supportive alumni for contributing. Th these funds will go to support new, new opportunities for students and it will help me develop a much more robust research program down the road. With money from the career development professorship, I can, I can go basically at any point during our research and say, you know what, we made a neat discovery, let's go do it now individual or corporate donors are really important for the research that we're doing. They really want to fund research that solves these problems. The reality is these are the students who are going to go out and work at companies who are going to make true products that, that change people's lives and, and they need to know how to do that really effectively. Some of my students will go on academic paths. Another group of my students are actually going to go and get jobs in industry. But what we really strive to do here at Penn State is to train those students to be leaders in their industry in the future. This is a great profession to be in because you can do both you know, research, which has long-term impacts, and then you also do education. And then finally, I think what we try to do is use the information that we and our students have been generating to better serve the needs of our, of our society.